Right, so show the complete mechanism for the Friedel Crafts acylation reaction between benzene and propanoyl chloride. So this here is propanoyl chloride. Okay, so as with uh, Friedel Crafts alkylation, the first step is the formation of the electrophile. So step one, formation of electrophile. So you have your Lewis acid, AlCl3, and then you have your propanol chloride, Cl, C double bond O, CH2, CH3. All right, you have three lone pairs on the chlorine on propanol chloride, so that complexes with the AlCl3, and that bond between the Cl and the carbon goes with the Cl as a third a uh, fourth lone pair and that lone pair becomes a bond to AlCl3 so now you have AlCl4 minus plus you have your C double bond O CH2 CH3 now you have a plus charge on that carbon and what is good about that that cation there is that you form a second resonance form. You have a plus charge on that C double bond O carbon and what happens is you, that one of the lone pairs on the oxygen forms a third bond between the carbon and the oxygen so you form a second resonance form. You have C C H C H two CH3 and now you have a triple bond between the carbon and the oxygen and this time the plus charge is on the oxygen so you have two resonance forms to that cation and whenever you form a at least one resonance form the species becomes uh, stabilized yep okay so in step two this is where benzene shows up in the picture. So benzene reacts with the electrophile C double bond O, CH2, CH3. The plus charge is at that carbon. So you do have an H there and you do have an H there. So that pi bond grabs the carbon that bears the plus charge. And now you have this. You still have an H there, and at that carbon again, you have that. Yeah, you now have a covalent bond to the carbon on the C double bond O. O, two lone pairs, CH2, CH3. You still have an H there, but now the plus charge is at that carbon. All right, and then step three. So. You start with the product that you formed in step two. H C L or uh, I'm sorry. C double bond O C H two C H three. The plus charge is at this carbon. Okay, so in step one you formed A L C L four, so that reappears in the picture. A L C L four that shows up in the picture again. Negative charge on that aluminum. So one of the chlorines grabs the H. That bond between the carbon and the H goes between those two carbons and aromaticity is re-established. The H is removed from the benzene and this is now what you have. You have now C double bond O CH2 CH3 and the process you have created um, produced HCl as well and ALCl3 is re-established.